Oh my gosh, guys, come check this out! What Yo, is what it? is it, Val? It's a video from this really cool scientist, guys. Hi, my name is Melissa, and I am a National Science Foundation Graduate Research Fellow with the Bird Polar and Climate Research Center in the School of Earth Sciences at The Ohio State University. I am a Latina hailing from Massachusetts, and I study the geochemistry of Antarctica. So, despite growing up um, as a Caribbean American, I really enjoy the cold, and I think a lot of that has to do with growing up in Massachusetts and then spending a lot of time with snow in upstate New York. So I was interested in our polar regions and I pursued graduate study um, to study those regions. I focus on the 2% of Antarctica that is currently ice free and that's limited to areas that are either on the margins of the continent, so on the edges, or these tall mountain peaks in the Transantarctic Mountains that actually poke above the ice sheet. So those ice-free areas have soils, and these aren't soils like you typically find in your backyard. They're really dry, super salty, um, and haven't seen liquid water for possibly millions of years. We also don't have the same cover that we have here in the United States, like the grass that you see in your backyard or the plants or animals, large animals. Instead, the organisms that we find in these soils are small, usually only seen with a microscope or barely with the naked eye. And those are the organisms that are the top of the food chain. So while I'm not a biologist, as I said earlier, I'm a geochemist, I use geochemistry to understand why we find those organisms in the soils that we do and how chemistry can help understand their distribution and how they have evolved over time. I hope to apply this work to understanding how we can predict to find life not only on Earth but in other um, bodies in our solar system like Europa, Enceladus, Mars, etc. Wow. I didn't know there was small stuff in the soil like that. Do we have stuff like that in Ohio? I don't know. We do! Let's go find some! Alright! Okay. Alright! So, Melissa is a scientist who helps biologists determine where they're likely to find living things in the soil in Antarctica. And so for that, they need to use microscopes and technology like that, but we're going to do something a little simpler today. We're going to see what animals we can find with our naked eye living in the soil around here. And how we're going to do that is we've got some of these special strainers. So this one, you can see it's just a plastic bin with some mesh on it and something on the bottom to catch the animals. But you could also do this with a colander that you might have at home. Just make sure you ask an adult before you get it dirty. So what we'll do is we'll scoop up some soil or leaf litter on the ground and we'll put it in our tray and then we'll shake it for a while and hopefully the animals will fall through while the big chunks like the big pieces of leaves will stay up top. So we'll do that for a little bit and then we'll see if we found anything. Yeah, we have lots of ants in this one. Yeah, looks like mostly ants. So let's see what all the counselors can find. <laughs> oh man, this is such a good spot you found. Yeah, I, I thought it would be really good because there's so much leaf litter on the ground and I feel like there's going to be a lot of really good places for those tiny insects to hide. Mm -hmm. And some of those spots in this mulch are wet, but then some are like pretty dry too because of the sun. Mm -hmm. Alright, should we shake it? Yeah, let's go ahead and shake it up. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake that sensor. Shake that sensor. All right, let's see what we found. Okay. So, so far we have um, these red mites. Oh yeah, I see it. And I see uh, some tiny little white bugs jumping around. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Look up and I think there's some, something, oops, something jumped just right <laughs> there. 
Wow, I just, I'm really surprised that there's so many tiny little bugs that you just like don't even think about while you're walking by. Mm -hmm. DJ, what are you up to? I'm collecting samples here in a more shady area. Why is that? Because I figured a lot of animals like to be cool and um, this seemed like a really cool, damp, but shady area for animals to settle into. Cool. Let's see what we find. Yeah, almost ready. So I see lots of different tiny bugs, some with wings, some without wings, but here's a little dude I saw. He's a little worm. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. That is a spider. I'm trying to, oh, he's fast. And here's an ant. All right, we got this wet, moist, compact ground. And we can just like grab some stuff straight off the top. Ooh, ants. You got a magnifying glass? No. We'll be right back. such a good time DJ. Yeah, awesome. I was able to find out that we saw spiders, Ooh. daddy long legs, and a little bug called springtails. We also found earwigs. So we found some mites and then we also found some, I believe they are, um, silverfish. Yeah, so also over in that area I found uh, a snail, an earthworm, a spider, and mites and ticks, a pill bug, and also a millipede. Ooh. It was super exciting. All right, so I saw lots of cool bugs, and I found one. Uh -huh. And based on the pictures, I wasn't really sure if it was this earwig or if it was this jappy gid. Um, just because these both have the same kind of like longer antenna and smooth bodies behind them. Good job being soil scientists, everybody. I'm glad we all learned something from our friend Melissa.